What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So I know in the last video I said that the following video, aka this one was going to be a Wastelanders uh, episode or video or whatever, but the reality of the situation is that Bethesda decided to delay the game another week due to the coronavirus. So unfortunately, we are unable to play Wastelanders not until the 14th of this month. So just another week. Uh, realistically, I'm okay with it. I have no problems whatsoever. I'd rather have everybody be safe over at Bethesda and healthy. And that way they can do the best work they can instead of having to feel less than optimal. But in the meantime, I do want to still continue doing Fallout 76 videos. Uh, so we're basically just going to be doing side quests and stuff like that. Starting with Bureau of Ter uh, of Tur Terrorism. What, look at me. Of Tourism. So there's that. But first things first, I do want to change my outfit because I'm still wearing this ridiculous outfit, which I think is pretty hilarious. But... But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. But first things first, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's jump into this. Alright, so first things first, I need to get into my stuff because I want to change this ridiculous outfit of mine. I just don't know what I want to wear. Honestly, I do like the concept of just putting on some dirty army fatigues. And some patrolman uh, glasses. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and put away this ridiculous outfit that I have on. I'll leave that on for now. The That and then that. And that should be it. Oh, I'm butt naked. Hey, where's my, where's my outfit? So let's go ahead and put on my patrolmen's, my dirty army fatigues. I kind of wish I had a better hat because I don't really want to wear the assault gas mask. But yeah, we're also going to put all of this stuff back on because we definitely need our defense. And that should be it. Wait, let's go ahead and put this tattered dress in there too. Since I don't need it anymore and I don't want it to be essentially just wasting... Let's go ahead and put on that. All right. I think we're good. Yeah, this will do. All right. So the Bureau of Tur Tourism is way up north. Luckily for me, I already have my survival tent in the Toxic Valley. So it's a nice little free uh, fast travel. But I think I do have to tune into the radio to be able to activate this actual quest line. So as soon as we get there and touch down, we'll definitely tune into the radio and we'll hear Grafton's mayor here. All right. So radio, uh, WGRF Grafton. You are listening to WGRF Grafton Radio. I am your host, the mayor of Grafton. Okay. Okay, well, it doesn't even look like I have to do that. So, because this already has a map marker on there. So, let's go and do that. Do I have marsupial? Yes, I do. Alright, I keep forgetting because not all my characters have mutations. Just my main and this one. Which is a good thing because this is a, a pretty important character. Seeing as this is the one that I basically do for you guys. So, I wonder who's getting down. I hear some uh, firefights. Probably some super mutants or something. I am in uh, my own private server, so there shouldn't be anybody here, but you know how that goes, man. People pretty much can join anybody's servers uh, regardless. I wish it was like an invite-only type thing, but oh well. It is what it is. Can't, you know, win. Can't, you have to pick your battles, I guess. I still got my own private server, so... I love having my own per private server. Honestly, it's worth it to me. I wish the game ran the way this runs on a private server. Because the game runs so smoothly on a private server. You don't have to worry about dupers or anything crashing servers or anything like that. So, it it's definitely it's definitely an awesome feeling. Oh, looks like we got a feral ghoul. He's just a level 3 though. Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and discover this location. Since it's pretty much on the way. What's up, Feragul? 
Oh, look, there's another one. It's a chart on us. It's a reaver. Hey, I hit you. Get out of here. You guys are so rude, man. I'll be taking that right away, though. Alright, good. Honestly, there's a pristine... Is it this place? No, it's not this house. There's like a pristine teddy bear in one of these d uh, dilapidated houses somewhere in the Toxic Valley. And it's actually pretty cool because it's uh, you need it for a tadpole quest. All, all it is is you gotta literally just collect a bunch of teddy bears or whatever. Uh, I think it's called Backpacker. I think that's the badge. It's kind of annoying though because my main character actually did every single one of the tadpoles pull and the possum quest except for one possum uh um badge and i'm not able to do that one only because it's kind of bugged right now and i it, it won't give me credit for doing powering up <laughs> so that's kind of unfortunate what's this from this guy Oh, this is for a daily. Okay, if you say so, Mr. Grafton Mayor. Let's go ahead and listen to the Overseer really fast. Overseer's log, Grafton. The mayor of... Hey! Um, let's go back in there and try to get this again. I don't like how it's been cutting me off for some reason. Uh, I don't know why it's been doing that, but... Alright, so it should be Grafton. Right there. Overseer's Law, Grafton. The mayor of Grafton used to be the automated assistant. And it's gone completely mad. Still trying to run the town. Even holds elections for itself. We built these machines to do things without us, and they have. Might be useful if I played along. Alrighty then. So let's go ahead and now talk to the Grafton Mayor himself. Welcome to Grafton. I bet you weren't expecting a computer to be Grafton's mayor. Yep, I did. Well, let me tell you, I used to be the mayor's assistant, but when he stopped showing up for work, I ran for office. I am eminently qualified, and the town unanimously elected me one to zero. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are a wee bit early for tourist season. <laughs> but this is your lucky day. Help us get ready for the upcoming flood of eager tourists, and I'll knock a whole 5% off the cost of all attractions. We have four major attractions around here. Wavy Willards, the Clarksburg Shooting Range, Cricket Sport, and the Black Bear Hunting Lodge. Go out there and get each of them ready. I'll wait here, because I don't have legs. <laughs> and I can't move. So stupid, I swear. Because I don't have legs. Alright, so... We are supposed to go to the Black Bear Lodge, uh, to Wavy Willards, and all the way up here to Prickett's Fort. So we might as well go to Wavy Willards first. Since it's pretty much like the closest, it's just north of here. Plus, it's probably the coolest location, realistically, out of all three of the places. Although, I will say, the inspiration for this character's camp came from Prickett's Fort. Get out of here, you rat toads! Yeah, I don't care. Let's go. I'm not trying to do that right now. Hold on, there's a hollow tape. Oh, no, it's not in this building. That's another one for the tadpole quests. Oh, it's actually a possum scout. Sorry, I, I get I use them interchangeably. When I talk about one and you hear me talking about one, but I say they're like the wrong one, like if I say tadpole, but I'm really talking about possum, just consider it that I'm talking about just uh, the the uh, the ever uh, up ever upwards DLC in general. Yes, you. Hey, sit your butt down, homie. 
Alright, let's go. Yeah, so we're basically just gonna be doing side quests, like, all non-stop. There is one in Wavy Willards that I really do wanna do. Um, probably in the next video, to be honest. It's actually a pretty cool quest line, dude. It's, uh, and you get a unique weapon out of it, too. I don't know, it's one of it's one of the better ones too. Probably not on the same level as like the last video that we did. Uh for uh Oh look, we found uh Ansel. But we don't have to worry about that because we already did it. Don't you love it when it just falls in your hand in like just right in front of you? <gasps> After you don't need it anymore. Get out of here. What am I stuck on? Beep. Beep. I wish I had the serrated blade mod for this. Alright, so it's actually down here. Oh, hello. Damn it, die! Oh my god, I'm just like straight up missing nonstop. I think it. Oh, hell nah. Who shot me, bro? What's up? Get out of here. That was actually pretty legit quick, dude. Let's go! Oh no, it's not up here. It's actually downstairs. So I gotta go this way, I think. Yep, right down here. Knock, knock. And then in here. And then some red roaches, I think, pop up. Yep. Bam. Well, you know what? I'll take it just for the food. Where are you at? And I think one comes up from over here, too. Yep. Damn, look at me! It's almost like I've played this game before over 600 hours. Maybe. Actually, I think it's over 800 hours now. On my main character. But, who knows? I'm guessing at this point. Alright, so that's that. Now we gotta go east to the Black Bear Lodge. Toronimo! Hey, what's up, bro? Here you go. Oh, I can't believe you didn't die. Run! Hey, you come back here. Really? Really? I would say, are you not gonna die? You're refusing to die? Oh, man, I, that was a little early. My bad. My bad. Let's see if we can find a cool outfit here. Sometimes there's cool outfits. Tatter drags. No, thank you, but I'll take that energy bobble head. For no real reason. Just to have. Nah, there's nothing cool, huh? No. It's all good. Alright. So, I think it's... We should probably be able to see it from here, probably. <clears throat> I guess not. What did I just stub my feet on? Now, I don't see it anywhere, so it's got to be over this hill. So, tell me uh, down in the comments, when you guys found out that Wastelanders got delayed a week, like, what went through you guys' minds? I know by the time you guys watch this, that announcement is already, like, a week old, but... Um, uh, I can tell you that, I mean, I'm a little disappointed at the fact that it got delayed. But, again, realistically, like I said earlier, uh, realistically, I would rather have everybody at Bethesda being safe and and healthy, I guess, you know, working on games and stuff like that. Because, ultimately, if people are happy to be at work and doing what it is that they love doing, they'll just make better work in general, you know? And I know Bethesda's doing some stuff like having people work from home uh, makes it a little better, but still, you know. Die! Hello? Anybody home? Sorry. Oh yeah, I gotta repair this thing, don't I? Do I even have the scrap? Yes, I do. Well, they're definitely playing a certain song that's probably going to get me demonetized. So let's go ahead and get out of here before 
It does that. It, it probably still will. I probably didn't turn it off in time. Oh, there goes the crafts, the craft, the crash, crashed space station. Let's actually go there because I do want to pick up that space suit really quick. And it's in route, kind of. I mean, it's kind of north and then east. Yeah, see, like, okay, so northeast and then that way. So I guess it's fine. We'll be all right. Wait, I discovered it already? Actually, I think I might have already gotten it. Who knows? No. You! Give me your food! Hold on, I want to see something really quick with my perk cards. Um. Oh god, what's... What are you sneaking up on me for? Alright, let's try that again. Because there is something under endurance that I wish I had on. Oh my god, here comes another one. Ugh. Go away. Alright, looks like that's everybody. So, good doggy. Or is it luck? It's luck, isn't it? Where the luck of the draw is... Or not the luck of the draw, the... Where it, like, repairs your armor if you get hit... Or it has like a small chance of repairing your armor or something. I forgot what it's called. I think Luck of the Draw is the gun version of it. But there's one for armor. I can't remember what it's called. Lucky Break maybe? Whereas like if you get hit there's a slight chance that it repairs your armor. I can't remember. I've actually... I've used it a long time ago when the, first liter the game literally first came out. It was like, uh, I thought it was a cool perk, so I tried it, and it, I feel like it didn't proc enough for me to want it equipped it. And I had it maxed out and everything, but ultimately speaking, I think uh, this character would benefit more of it uh, off of it, because this character gets hit a lot more than my main character. My main character is a sniper, a stealth sniper at that, so getting seen really isn't an option, you know? And if I do get seen and I get hit or whatever, uh, man, it, it does a lot of damage. He's very squishy, but he deals a lot of damage. So that's a pretty pretty good thing. Plus, if I ever get uh, found or whatever, I always use that. I always have equipped that uh, Escape Artist perk card in Agility. And that card is actually pretty freaking awesome, dude. Only because, like, if I could detect it, I could always just run away. And pretty much, like, just crouch uh, when I lose line of sight, and they just basically lose me, and it's pretty, it's pretty cool actually. I like the it. Will announce the next show. Please stand by. No, I'm not. I'm not interested in that right now, sir. Thank you, though, Mr. Confederate. You know what? Die! <laughs> Aw, man. All right, so now we gotta go pick up beer bottles at the shooting range. So where's the shooting range at? It is right around here. Oh, I can actually fast travel there, so let's go ahead and do that. This one's easy. It's only 10 of them, and they're literally scattered all over the shooting range. You know, one of the first things I want to do... Obviously, we're going to get started on the quest line and stuff, but one of the first things I want to do uh, when Wastelanders comes out is I kind of want to revisit some of the places we visited before. Like, I might have an entire video of just going to places, like revisiting places that we've been to before and see if anybody has like extra dialogue just to just out of curiosity you know another thing too when wastelanders comes out my main character there's no way in hell he's not gonna be anything other than a good guy so i'm gonna side with the settlers but on my on this character seeing as i'm gonna be doing that with my main character i'm probably going to have him side with the raiders uh, plus, I think it'll be a lot more interesting to watch for you guys, seeing as everybody and their mom is probably going to be siding with the good guys, or the perceived good guys. We don't know the story yet, you know. But yeah, we uh, completed Bureau of Terrorism. T tourism. Yeah, so I think everybody's going to be siding with the good guys in their playthrough. So, just to be different, I want to do a Raider playthrough. Uh with this character but 
All right, so that takes care of that mission. That one was a little bit easy. It was just basically just a way of getting us to go all the way around this place. You know what I mean? I do kind of want to do minor miracles. But I don't want to do minor miracles right now because it takes a lot of scrap to do. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm probably going to go through minor miracles on a on a probably on like a, the next video or something. And I'll because I do I have two two accounts, right? I have this account, which is my main account. And then I have an alt account. And I basically just use that account to like haul my junk and stuff like that. Uh, it makes it easier. Um... Uh, let's go do the horn right, actually. Uh, see show on map. It's way down here. Actually, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and go to Char. Wait, why am I heavy? Did they give me a weapon or something? Oh, I still have the blade of Bastet on me too, and the junkie's meat hook, the medic's black powder rifle. Why do I have all this stuff on me? Honestly, I don't need the fixer. Alright, I should have put those legendaries in my stash box, but oh well. Well, I mean, I guess since we're going in that direction, we can stop really quick at my camp and stash them really quick. And it'll also, in the process, save me a few caps. Gotta play this smart, right? Look at that. West Virginia. That's my main character. Sexy ain't them. For the longest time, that's literally all I ever wore. I just recently started changing my outfits on that main on my main character. All right, so let's go ahead and put. We'll put the voice of Set. I'm gonna keep the blade of Bastet on me since that's the whole point of that. This, even though we're on a private server, I'm still gonna put it on to sell for a hundred caps. This, I'll put it for sale since this is like a god tier weapon. I'll put it for like, I'll put it for like four grand. Chances are it probably won't sell quickly, but in worst case scenario, I'll just lower the price at a later time. But for now, I think I'll put it in for four grand. Because it's not something I would use. I'm not a huge fan of the junkies or the blood eat effect, be, uh, to be honest. I know it's like really good way to make a lot of damage or whatever to, to make a lot of damage on enemies but I don't like being in those types of situations you know what I mean our trail warden definitely has to go in here all right so now we're going down south and we're almost I think like 25 pounds lighter All right, I wanna, I wanna take my chances and go to the Charleston place or whatever, because there's a suit that I've been looking for my main character literally since the game came out, and for some reason he just does not spawn for me. There was one time that he spawned for me, but he didn't have the item that I was looking for, and uh, it's the responders vendor bot, the 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 wandering one that's a a random encounter. Yeah, he just doesn't spawn for me for some reason. But I'm looking for the Hunter's long coat, man. It's the one thing I've always wanted that I haven't been able to get. And I've seen vendors have them and stuff like that. Like uh, other players and stuff. But they ask for ridiculous amounts of caps. Something that, Even if I have the caps, it's just not something I want to... Oh no, it's about to crash, isn't it? Alright, so it looks like it's about to crash. So we're going to cut it here and then get back into it right after all right so we this have level two officially energy plant, WV loaded in let's see if we can get this failure. vendor though Hazmat teams are en route. Please remain indoors and await further instructions. i doubt he will show up though he never does not for me at least he hates me ow what the fuck <laughs> oh it's all good <laughs> Where did all these feral ghouls come from? I literally started right right as soon as I loaded in, so I guess that was the random encounter. So looks like 
we got the wrong round, uh, random encounter, but it's all good. Not worried about it. Uh, do we still have the quest on? Alright, so we gotta go to the Charleston Herald. Which one is it? Alright. For some reason, it's showing on my map that I haven't discovered it, but I think I have. No, I don't want to go to the First Priority Friends Church. Message incoming. Immediate evacuation of the First Friends Church in Charleston <laughs> is required due to swarming Die! Growing in this area does reveal salvage, but well-equipped trained there personnel we can recover. Civilians should remain clear while the bells ring. If you say so. Alright, let's go ahead and go in here. Because this is where we have to go. This place is my, uh, the... You can actually get start the quest for minor miracles in here as well too, I believe. I definitely lost in-game audio. All right. So, I'm definitely going to have to restart this game yet again. Stand by. All right, guys. So we are finally here, and it seems to be a lot better now. So, of course, we'll see. Let's go ahead and kill some of these guys. We do have to use the terminal downstairs, but first, there's we gotta take care of all of these little guys. Oh God, there we go. Shut up. It's kind of funny though because at the beginning of this video I was just saying how it's a lot more stable in a private server. But I guess I haven't been lucky today. Alright, let's see. Yep, it still says danger. I think there's somebody over here too. I love marsupial. I guess there isn't somebody over here. Alright, let's go ahead and drink though. With my 56 bottles of water. Unnecessary, but it's okay though. All right, what about now? Uh, we're still in danger, but I think we should be able to get on this computer really quick. Maybe. All right, let's see. Uh, company memo. Attention, all employees. Due to safety concerns related to the recent unrest uh, centered around the town of Welch, our offices will be closed tomorrow. Employees will be expected on site. At start of business Tuesday, October 5th. Jacob Hanover, Human Resources to, uh, Director. Disclaimer. Hornwright Industrial will not be held liable for any injuries you may sustain while attempting to access the office. Alright then. Looks like they're just covering their assets. Uh, dear Hornwright Industrial employees, effective immediately. Access to our R&D and executive offices will require a key card. If you need to access uh, those areas, please speak to your managing senior executive. As well, from this point forward, all employees will be required to sign non-disclosure agreements. Any members of the organization speaking to the press or any outside parties about prop, uh, proprietary information will be disciplined. Seems normal, I guess. Uh, we, we run a tight ship here. Any leaks and we sink and we all sink together well that's a little extreme uh but it's kind of it's kind of true though like if they leak wrong information the company goes under then everyone's out of a job so i guess it kind of makes sense so jacob hanover human resources director all right then so archived messages messages as in more than one all right 927 2077 from uh, it's been a tough decision annie I need to think it over some more before I decide, Yvette, from Annette Baxton, admin. So that's the reply to this one. So that's what she said about this. So let's, let's see. It's up to you, darling. You can either come with me or you can keep chipping away at your soul in exchange for a couple of pieces of silver every week. All I know is that the miners, the, uh, is all I know is that the miners, the horn rights kicked to the curb with those robotic scabs had families. And I don't, and I want, ah, and I won't be a part of making them starve. Annie. Okay. 
2077. Looks like that was the checkpoint we needed. Um, so, Miss Hornwright, that reporter was here again this morning asking about the mother load. Uh, mentioned something about toxic dump sites. I told him I had no idea what he was talking about. You like, oh, uh, like you told me, but I got the same. I got the sense that he didn't buy it. Uh, is there something else I should have said and not to bother you uh, too much? But I haven't heard a peep from HR about taking over Annie's position. You haven't heard anything, have you? Penny, is is Annie getting fired? Or she's just getting forced uh, to, to leave the job? Hi, Miss Hornwright. Just wanted to check in. I saw your car outside, so I presume everything was all right for you and your dad down in Bramwell? Interesting name. Uh, I heard the rioters brought down one of the high-rise mansions. I was terrified uh, it might have been yours. Oh, so these guys are the rich guys. Miss Hornwright, well, I guess it's... This is their building. Uh... They had some of those foul mouth Mr. Gu uh, foul mouth Mr. Gutsy things patrolling our block in Charleston yesterday and today. Uh, but when I came outside today, they were whining about not getting uh, to see any action. <laughs> so I'm guessing the writers kept to the south. And it's and is there really still fighting going on at the dig site in Mount Blair? And down in Welch, seems like the crazy is spreading like wildfire. Oh, definitely. From Yvette. Alrighty. That's everything. And that's how we start the mother load. Alright, so. Uncover the secret of Hornwright Industrial's mother load. Search Penny's office for info about the mother lord. Mother lord. <laughs> the mother load. I can't talk right now for some reason. Alright, so I can hear somebody directly upstairs. And I don't think there's anybody down here. Bunch of bodies. Oh, hello. Nice seeing you, nice seeing you. I hear somebody else. So we still gotta go up, so let's go ahead and make our way up. Oh, look it. Wait, well, how did a feral ghoul get in here with all these scorched? Especially this high up, without being detected. Um, Alright, so we made a wrong turn somewhere. Oh, wait. Can I go through here? I think we might have found the way, actually. Oh, uh, you can come up here. You know exactly where I'm at. Oh, hello. Alright, looks like we're good. Uh, archived messages. Oh, God, that's a lot. Alright, let's see. Yvette, you did exactly right with the reporter. Until my father says otherwise, the company line is, uh, company line is none of us is none of us know anything about the mother load project which is closer to the truth than I like so it's like a half truth I guess but do me a favor pop into R&D and tell him what the reporter told you he should know what people are saying out there and that and out there and his project you're going to need my ID though as dad's gone and restricted the top floor to senior executives only Keeping all the juicy stuff for us. Oh, so that's why they don't know anything about it. They know about the project, but they don't know what the project is really about. All right, so you're up there enough. Uh, you should probably pop into HR once you're done. Get your ID updated for your application. I'm sure it's just got lost in the move to the automa automated hiring system. The current password is... <laughs> Sorry. It, that's a pretty ridiculous... Uh, uh, 
what's it called? Password. Alright, so go resubmit your resume and I'll make sure it gets moved to the top of the pile for Annie's job. Penny. Next. Gregory, come by my office as soon as you get in. It sounds like the shaking last night, uh, it gets revealed some kind of vein down in Welch. We need to see if we can get our hands on this mineral rice before anyone else does. Penny. Pen, penny. Man, I'm like really messing this up, aren't I? All right. So third one, 10-2, 2077. So I'm sorry, Dad. Gregory, Gregory and I tried to get down to Welch as fast as we could, but AMS, uh-oh, was already on site. By the time we got there, sounds like it's residentials from their old blast test in the area. Peeking up uh, under people's homes, under or knowing how AMS works, I'm sure they'll make a mess of recovery. So if you manage... To pull yourself away from your project long enough to read this, at least know we tried. Penny. Okay. So they're in competition with AMS, which is those air purification locations all throughout the uh, the um, the little black area down south. I forgot what it's called. Dad, if you're reading the uh, reading this, if you're reading these at all anymore, I really need your help right now. I don't know what the hell AMS did in Welch over uh, this we new claim, one. but they fucked up bad. The town is in uh, uh, is in open revolt, and from what I'm hearing, it's turning into a full-on riot. They're trashing anything with a mining company name on it. The governor's already started mobilizing the National Guard, and <gasps> I've put out... Uh, to get some independent contractors over to Mount Blair and a couple of your uh, experimentation sites. I know you're still hurting over mom, but I think everyone would really appreciate hearing from you. So please help me out here. Man, this is getting crazy. I spoke to the various site managers last night. We haven't been able to regain access to the Rockhound yet, but they've left all the others. Initial uh, estimates for the damage. Uh, uh, initial estimates for the damage and uh, damage are man that freaking scorch is really like <laughs> messing me up in the tens of millions. Wow, which with for fall adjusted for fallout and. Inflation is probably a, like a hundred thousand or something, and there's still some riders preventing us from being able to get back into the digger. I need all the execs uh, in the conference room today. If we get stuck with all this, uh, with this bill, that's it. Show's over. These riots are on AMS. We need to uh, make sure a judge agrees. Dun dun dun. National Guard finally cleared out the last of the rebels of the Rockhound. The damage was so much less bad than we expected. In no small part because it seems those idiots couldn't sort out how the ignition reactor, uh, reactors work. The little blessings of proprietary technology. I want crews working in 24 hour shifts until that site's fully operational again. Every day it's down, we're hemorrhaging money. Damn. All right. So we got to get an ID or we have to get ID access to the top room. So our map marker actually shows us one floor down. So let's go ahead and just jump right here and we'll, <laughs> we'll speed through this. Well, at least a little bit quicker. Oh, hi. Resume. Or take our senior executive exam to see if you've got what it takes to be part of the Horn Wright team. Exam it is. Do I have to do one of these computers? Yep, there we go. 
that's a pretty cool little machine there. Senior executive hiring exam. Uh, welcome prospective applicant to the opportunity of a lifetime. The exam before you will show us whether or not you've got the chops to join the elite group known as Hornwright Industrial Senior Executives. Oh, you already know I am. Achieve a perfect score, a perfect score, holy crap, and our automatic, uh, automated, hire, automated hiring system will issue you an offer on the spot. So are you ready to take the exam of your life? Yes, of course, let's go. All right, an accidental, an accident has occurred at one of the company's automated mines, resulting in the deaths of multiple mine bosses. What's your response? These guys seem pretty shady, so let me see. Uh, release a statement promising compensation to the families. I mean, that seems logical. Blame the incident on alligators. That's that's what they're doing towards AMS right now. Launch a company-wide... No, I'm going to go with this. That's what they're doing towards AMS. They're blaming them. Um, Alright, so... You've come into possession... You've come... Uh, you come into possession of damaging, of damning proprietary information from one of our competitors. What do you do with it? Um, all right, destroy it. We can beat them fairly in a marketplace. That doesn't sound like this company at all. Blackmail them into providing more information. That definitely sounds good. Uh, send it to the media using the fallout to short their stocks. I mean, that seems possible, but I'm going to go with blackmail. A local po uh, politician has come to you requesting a sizable campaign donation in return for uh, preferred sure, legislation. How do you respond? Um, dig up dirt on the politician to lower their price. <laughs> that sounds like this company. Uh, politely refuse citing the politician's disrespect for democracy. Mm, that seems too nice for them. Reveal the request to uh, the public exposing their political... Now, that's that seems like the right thing to do. I'm going to go with Dig Up Dirt. Um, Alright, so you've received threats from a group... Upset with our automate, uh, automation policy. What do you do? All right. So give the evidence to the police, allowing them to deal with it. Doubt it. Offer them lucrative jobs to get them to reveal their identities. I mean, that seems manipulative. Request a 24-hour security detail to protect yourself. Now, I'm going to go with this. I hope I'm right. <laughs> You've been offered a higher paying position at yes, a local yes. regional competitor. What do you do? Uh, turn over the details to Hornwright's top-notch corporate intelligence team. That's that's possible. Um, take the position despite the company's almost certain inferiority. <laughs> or the last one, which is leverage the offer into a higher paying position. No, because you're manip. I was about to go with this one until I reread it again. It says position here at this place, but then you're taking advantage of Hornwright. So I think it's going to be turnover details to Hornwright's top notch corporate intelligence team. Well, here goes nothing. View results. Woohoo! Nice. Thank you. That's right next door, actually. All right. Card ID Senior printer. Executive detected. ID card issued. Thank you. Uh, explore the building's <sighs> upper floor for the mother load. All right. So the thing with this one is, it is very easy to get lost, but you have to go all the way down to the bottom. You're so cute. <laughs> Jk. It's easy to get lost, but you're supposed to go all the way down to the bottom and take this elevator to the top floor. 
And just like that, we're on the top. So now we can finally kill this freaking feral ghoul that's been yapping at us the whole time. Is there another one? Alright. Executive ID. Alright, hello. User detected. Connecting. User. Connection. Detected. Monitor 003 reporting. User. System 003 requests. Assistance. Fuel levels. Critical. Home. Critical. This mother load requires repair beacon. User. Recover. Repair beacon. User. Recover. Repair. <laughs> okay. Re repair beacon. Got it. All right. I think it's on this terminal. All right. So research notations. AMS hire. Uh, Hornite introduced our latest team member, a poach from AMS, Electronic Intelligence Division. The future of mining as we know it. We're Hornwright's exact words. Uh, we're Hornwright exact words uh, when introducing the young woman. The child has one PhD from a state school. Let's not leap to conclusions, Daniel. But extra hands are extra hands, I suppose. Perhaps this Miss Jackson uh, Jackson can make coffee. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> Finish the sentence in the comments. <laughs> uh, in the four weeks since she's been here, Miss Young Miss Jackson has managed to complete three of our outstanding research quar uh, quan did what that word on the Mother Loads project. Three uh, in. Intra mineral communication solved. Uh, sub crustal navigation, child's play, an automated voice response team. Why not? The child even designed an infield repair system, bottled off my original mother load design, of course, but capable connecting with the system without work. Interruption. Uh oh. The child is either a genius or a thief, simply bringing us what she happened to write down during her time at AMS. And I can hardly I can hardly tell if I need to beg Hornwright to fire her or put her up for a Nobel. But I must say I'm intrigued by the curious Miss Jackson and damn it all. Her coffee is sublime. Damn, even her coffee's amazing? Power struggles. Okay, so that's the uh, the update we needed. We got the code. So thanks to no small part uh, to Miss Jackson's uh, monumental effort, system 000 and 001 had been prepared and ready to deploy, and we were, and we were star starring, staring down the barrel of upping our timetable by an entire quarter. We've now easily lost that and more thanks to daniel's consistent input inconsequential and incessant demands almost always lobbed at miss jackson and the intelligence team to make things more user friendly to provide with the system with more independence the poor girl is being run raged trying to keep up i've been trying to step in as much as I can just let the girl work but the man will not uh, relent to make things worse Daniel has begun requiring us to go through uh, him to get our requisition codes making sure we can't make changes without his sanction I did manage to sneak at least one of th of his notes while being ex or whatever that word for my unrequested interventions it's very small victories repair beacon re requisition code three six nine eight four we got one more to read for miss jackson if you're reading this congratulations you're on 
Uh, congratulations on your promo uh, promotion to project lead. No one deserves it more than you. I mean, this from the bottom of my heart, get out now. I do not believe Mr. Hornwright as well. His paranoia and uh, insularity have only worsened over the past months. My firing is no surprise, giving his growing immunity towards anything but his motherload project. I can only plead that you quit before the man snaps. Your talent is wasted in a situation such as this. Okay, so maybe the company isn't necessarily the bad one, but the horn rights are. That's what it sounds like to me. The horn rights are the crazy one. So let's see. It's three, six, nine. Damn, you're fine. Come and shake it, shake it to me one more time. Okay, anyways. Requisition code accepted. Thank Issuing you. Issuing repair beacon. Did I, did I get, did I get it? Oh, okay, I gotta get it from the dispenser. Beacon deployment clearance granted. Yay! User, proceed down. Deploy beacon. Proceed elevator. Okay, proceed elevator. Executive ID, thank you, thank you. Oh, hello. Another nice little rad roach here. Anybody else? Anybody else want some? I didn't think so. Sam Blackwell? Eh, I don't want to read that. <laughs> Estate access key. Don't mind if I do. 10 millimeter rounds. Don't need that. Is a golf club one handed or two handed? Let's test this out really quick. Nope, two handed. Definitely keeping my vampire my vampire's sword though. I really like this weapon. And let's go down to the sub level. Bum bum bum. Dude, these horn rights are absolutely insane, huh? Uh. Uh. Die you for real ghoul. Why do I always miss the first hit? I'm terrible at melee. You! Where do you think you're going? Ooh. Alright, and then there's that. I can actually pick lock it or lock pick it. Yay, got it. First try. Um Really? Oh, 76. You never fail to amaze me. Ooh, a minor hat clean. Let's actually look at it. I actually want to put it on. Let's look around and see if we can potentially find... Oh, no. Excavator final steps. This is how you get the quest for uh, minor miracles, I think. All right, let's look around really fast. Oh, look, we got a 10 millimeter submachine gun we can scrap. Um, we'll scrap that too. That's it. All right, is there a minor uniform? That'd be pretty cool if we could find one. I mean, we got some T45 here, but mm, nah, I don't think so. Doesn't look like there is. Bunch of dead bodies though. Dun dun dun. Stealth boy. Definitely don't need a stealth boy. Can't dog food. Snub nose 44. Is that a working terminal? No, it's not. Oh, that sucks. No working. Oh, that's the elevator we came in from, huh? No actual miner's uniform. I'm probably going to go buy one right after uh, we're done with this. I know where I, where I can find a clean suit. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go buy one and then probably come back and take a picture. Wait, how do I do this again?
Did I actually go in the wrong place? Did I come down here prematurely? I think I did. Let's go back upstairs really quick. And who knows, maybe we'll find a steel worker's uniform. Oh yeah, it's telling me to go in here. That's weird that it didn't, didn't update. Well, let's take a look around really fast. A little bit better. Maybe we'll find an actual uniform. Just on this upper floor. Anything? Watch me have passed one like a million times and you guys are probably like, Oh, it's right there. But I can't find it for some reason. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I definitely don't see one if there even is one here. I'm sure it's one of those situations where it does spawn here. But I just wasn't lucky. Alright, let's go back inside. We might actually have to come back up here. I don't know why it's... I, I'm not sure if it's actually down here. Um... Yeah, it's got to be upstairs. All right, so let's go down to the main portion of the f of the building. It's been a while since I've done this mission. All right, uh, elevator right here. I don't know why it's not updating properly. All right, now let's just climb all the way to the top. And while we're at it, we might as well take a look around. Just in case we do end up finding a miner's uniform, that'd be pretty cool. Hello, miner's uniform, please. Does anyone have a miner's uniform that I can borrow? Promise I'll never give back. I don't know why, man, but I'm pretty sure it was in that room where we took the elevator down. Pretty sure it is, man. Alright, so I actually gave the game uh, a little bit of time to load. It still doesn't show the map marker, but I think I remember where I need to go. I actually left and came back with a miner's uniform, <laughs> if you're wondering. But uh, I think I'm supposed to just put it in that thing. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Right? Okay, something's happening. Okay, there we go. Distance, 12 half meters, 800 meters, 400 oh, coming. meters, mother load, connection. Connection complete. Repair systems engaged. Mother load status nominal. Let's see if I can take a Repeat. picture of this. status nominal. Initiating breach procedure. User, stand clear. Oh, come on, baby. User Perfect. Priority material deposited in docking station. Motherload 003 complete, user. Motherload complete. Motherload remembered. Nice. Yay, we did it. Right? That's the end of the mission? Collect Motherload's gift. Are you gonna give it to me or... There we go. Let's see what it gave me. 
Probably a lot of ore. I think that's what get this quest gives you. Yeah, ore, 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 ore. Titanium scrap and probably more ore. Alright, so let's see. Uh, any weapons? I think I just got this Gatlin laser too. Holy crap. We're definitely going to scrap that though. Alright, let's go ahead and actually scrap it really quick. Yeah, the game was acting pretty weird today. I don't know why. We'll scrap that and scrap that. And it looks like we're under level... Uh, under our weight limit again. So... Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's going to do it for this video. We're already over an hour. So, we're definitely going to call it a video right here, right now. This one was a little weird because uh, we definitely had some issues with the game. For some reason, I'm not even sure why. It usually runs pretty good now. But, uh, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe uh, Fallout 76 got hit with the coronavirus or something. But, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. Thank you.